everyone. I've got some exciting news, uh, maybe more for me than any of you, but I have been making some additional ships besides the, the current one I'm working on. I've started a partnership with a gift shop in Port Royal, South Carolina, and it's a little shop called Mrs. B's. Her husband is actually a shrimp boat captain. His ship is the Mrs. B. And then she has a gift shop in that area. And it's not a traditional gift shop. It really shows artists' uh, work. And she's going to sell some of my ships. And in reality, I've already sold three. So that's good news for me. And I want to show you an example of what I have for sale there. After I completed the uh, shrimp boat, I mounted it on a piece of driftwood. This is a pretty good example of how I've used the airbrush to give little rust stains. It's very subtle. So you can see I've given it a rustic look. And if you've seen the, the shrimp boats in different areas, some of them are more rustic than others. This is also a, an example of me using the copper and then the uh, ammonia kind of baking oven to get the patina that I wanted. So I used that both on the roof of the shrimp boat, some of the massing areas. The underside of the boat is also coppered and then aged. So that's my latest update and what my plans are is once I finish the Black Pearl, which here's the blueprint behind me, once I finish that then I'm going to do a tutorial on how you can build this ship. It's not a kit, it comes from a kit but then I do some of the extra work on my own, make some additional parts and pieces and, and really craft it and make it my own. Maybe you're considering getting into model ship building. This would be a good tutorial to start with. So I'll try and make them shorter, but again, I'll give details where it's important and watch for that coming sometime soon. I would think by midsummer, fall at the very latest. So this is Boiler Dan, where I haven't mentioned in quite a while, where I know a little bit about everything and a whole lot about nothing. And as always, thanks for watching.